Hello everyone, this is a fairy tube back again with another tech review today. One that I've been hoping to get to for quite some time. Happy to finally be getting to it. It is the latest, I think the last in the uh, season's apothecary. I've been waiting on this one, the Emerald ones. Thank you very much to Alex for finally getting it out to me. It took a while, but I, I understand you were up to stuff and getting engaged and married, I think. Uh, so that's cool. Uh, but I'm glad to finally get it and finally get these reviews. Congratulations on that as well. And uh, let's check them out. Alright, uh, so these are the Intaglio Engraved Apothecary Point Cards from Seasons Point Cards and Alex Chin. And I want to thank him very much for sending me the Emerald version. That's pretty cool. So in this series, as said, you got the Gold Elixir, the Black Elixir, and the Emerald Insights, which is a Kickstarter exclusive. It features Aristocrat Stock and Linen Finis on the Midnight Deck, the Black Deck. S Silver Tuck Stock on this one as well. Itaglio Gold Engravings. Green Gilding and a Green Forest Tuck Stock on this one. So it's a nice green stock. And um, Aristic stock, it's Aristocrat stock and Magic Finis on the Emerald and Gold Editions, apparently. The Hand Gilded, two of them. And there was 848 of the Gold Gilded Black Tuck with Intaglio Engraving. And they're, they're all pretty limited. This one, there's, I'm not sure how many, but this one's 897. And this one's 594. Not 100% sure. Many of each. Beautiful tucks. This one's kind of almost holographic look it's embossing and the intaglio engraving and it says the apothecary seasons playing cards extracted elysian elixir beautiful artwork they're all different as you can see on the tux well these ones are the same just uh different foils and colors and it says the same thing and in this one it says uh, illuminating invernal insights and beautiful embossing and everything on these. To the one side you see some artwork. The other side, different artwork. It's all embossed. Top, it says Seasons Playing Guards. Oops, seals are falling apart. <laughs> the bottom, I did some ad copies from Alex Chin. And these are all USB C printed. And the back looks like that. It's got some information on there. It's an ingredients list and directions list, so it's kind of cool. This one has no seal. These two have seals. They're numbered. Like I said, 564. And it says gold elixir. The seal looks like it's wearing out for some reason, which is unfortunate. There's a pip and it says edition 564. And then this one says edition. 897. I don't know how many apparently were printed of each. Well, it says 848 gold that I have on my list. On my information here. Foil seals. Let's check out the cards. And the flap it says Amalgamation. And the artwork just wraps around from sides onto the flaps. This one says the same. And this one says nothing. A matte stock as well. Now these two are also autographed on the inside. I don't know if these are actual autographs because I mean the seal inside, cellophane and everything, or if they were just printed on there. And you can see the gilding, gold on one, green on the other. Let's get to the cards. So for for this one, the midnight one, yeah, an ad card. For season's playing cards. There's your back. Pretty nice with little blue accents. And you get a double backer. Joker scales with some symbols in the corners. And the other one is kind of a flask or something, a bottle with different symbols. The Ace of Spades it says Elysian Elixir on the bottom, Seasons Playing Cards on top. The Apothecary Seasons Playing Cards on top. It says Established 2019. Nice pip, white. Uh, pips and indexes for those ones you get red pips on the spades or sorry hearts in the diamonds 
Uh, nice custom pips throughout. Beautiful. It's like all the aces you saw in all the previous decks in one deck. Court guards, very nice. Completely custom. Nice colors as well. And a number of cards, white pips for the spades and clubs, red for the hearts and diamonds, as you can see. Pull this all aside here. And we'll look at the next one. It's the gold one. It has white faces, it has the same ad card. And basically the same back design. Yeah, just that's gold instead of blue. Is and of course it's gilded. And you do get a double backer. The jokers in this one, you get like a perfume bottle, I suppose it is. They're both the same. There's different symbols in each corner. Just like the other ones. You get the same aces. Both gold details. And of course black for the spades and clubs this time. And the court cards believe are the same but of course different colors white backgrounds nice border details different border details than the other ones if I recall I can see actually it's the same border detail and we'll compare these two actually so yeah it's the same thing just different colors very nice I'll just show you the last couple and then the number cards same thing And then, the last deck, the Emerald Edition. Again, thank you to him for sending it my way. Oops. Crap, hold on. Bear with me a second here. Uh, uh. I apologize. So you get an ad card for Seasons Playing Cards. Crafted Art Experience. It's a different ad card than the other one. It's a different back design. I believe it's the same as the previous deck. That was green from the previous series. I need to get a double backer as well. The Jokers, uh, looks like some kind of pottery thing. Or maybe an urn. The Ace of Spades, again says the Apophis Series Seasons Point Guards on top, established 2017. And it says handcrafted insights on the bottom. Nice ace of spades. The rest of the aces are just standard. And the court cards. Very nice. Again, I think it's the same actually. We'll verify that when we get to that queen of spades. And yeah, it's the, it's the same, just a different color scheme. So that's a little bit disappointing, but same number of cards as well. And that is that. I do like these Seasons decks. They're very well done. Nicely designed. I like the bat design in this one. I like the green gilding. I don't have too many decks that have gilding that isn't silver or gold. So that's pretty cool. Handling-wise, for the gilded decks, kind of what you'd expect. Not tremendous. But then again, nobody's going to be doing cards with them anyway. It's not terrible or anything. It's printed by USB-C. It's good quality stock and finish. In this one, obviously, black is going to be some chipping, but it handles better without the gilding. And it's kind of the standard deck of the set. Overall, beautiful decks. And I would say... Easily 9, 9.5 out of 10. I like them. They're, they're really cool. I really appreciate getting the Emerald one. Comment, rate, subscribe. Let me know what you think. And we'll see you next time for more. Thanks for watching.